If you are feeling overwhelmed by latest news cycle, you are not alone. That's why to talk about the toll, violent images and video from Israel and Gaza can have on your uh, mental health. Even if I am watching for a free on the news or social media, how to manage stress and anxiety when the news cycle is unrelenting? War involves tragic damages such as the death and the injury of many people. As a result, strong feelings of anger, sadness may arise among the people. In particular, those who have lost family, friends, and war may carry their grief and anger with them for a long period of time. The social turmoil and the instability, turmoil and instability caused by war can also have a negative impact on the public psyche. This can reduce the public trust and patience, further contributing to social trauma and instability. The public anger, grief caused by war can linger for some time after the war ends, creating obstacles to social stability and peace. War can be an economic boon because it stimulated the munitions industry and increased the demand for supplies and equipment needed to augment military forces. Military industries range from weapons, manufacturing and transportation to healthcare and food supply, and the increased demand caused by war can support those industries and lead to increased employment and income. However, it is important to remember that war does not always have a positive impact on the economy, and destruction and sacrifices can be a major cost. The damage caused by war range from the destruction of buildings and infrastructure, disruption of productives and commercial activity, loss of property, and loss of life. The cost of war an enormous and praised a heavy burden of the national budget. In addition, the human cost of war is also a major issue as a large number of people are wounded or killed in wars. War also has a serious impact on the environment. The use of weapons and combat cooperation destroy the land, waters, forest, and other environment. Damaging the ecosystem and the natural resources, environmental pollution may also be caused by the use of chemicals or attacks on oil facilities. The damage caused by war can have a long-term effect, even after the war is over. Adversely affecting social stability and development, war can uplift the nation's sentiment resulting in greater national unity and patriotism. Winning a war can also strengthen the international voice. Victory can enhance trust and the status and the international community and expand the political influence. However, the sacrificing and damage that's caused by war can be severe and the cost can be significant increasing the loss of life and property. Civil wars can be disastrous, but the process can also lead to reforms. Prolonged the period of politics by the same political party can cause political and economic disparities and inequalities leading to social discontent and dissent. The folding or expression of opinion that varies with those are commonly or officially held, because civil wars can disrupt existing political and social system. New forms of politics and society may emerge in the process for example, countries that have experienced a civil war may undergo reforms such as constitutional reform and democratization. However, 
reframes resulting from civil wars are not desirable because they are costly and can result in social unrest. Losing a war may result as a downfall, a loss of power properties or status of the country's international standings. War is a strong struggles for power between nations, and the victorious nation tends to gain a stronger international position. Conversely, the defeated defeated the nations may lose international credibility, and its position may decline. In addition, a state that loses a war may be required to accept un. Favorable the time, so such as a payment of reparations as or cedings, cedings as a give up of territory. The combination of these factors may result in a decline in international status, or may cause the animosity from the countries and the peoples affected by the war. Which may reduce their credibility and the international community. War can cause a social divisions. People may have a different opinion and loyalty and domestic as a political, ethnic, ethnic, and religious conflicts that may intensify. This can lead to widespread social unrest and distrust, and domestic stability can be shaken. War may be waged to ensure national security, but careful judgment is required because the very existence of the nation may be at the stake if it is loses. Conflicting forces may continue to fight. For a long period of time, and the Ukraine is bogged down. In such a situation, national power may be depleted, and economic and social turmoil may develop. In a civil war, national unity may be disrupted, and the government and the military may be divided. As a result, the government may hinder the development of the nation. War. May also cause the people to secede from the state, and resources may become scarce. As a result, war can reduce national power and severely damage the country's development. If the war continues, the very survival of the state may be at stake. So, peace and dialogues are needed to resolve the situation. The structure of the war. As a result of the situation in which both sides believe that their respective positions are correct, and the conflict between their theories has have developed, the two sides are like extramural humans who believe that the world will not be free of fear, unless that they suffer. Them and that the immutable humans of who believe that we cannot defeat themselves, and that they attack the dumb themselves. In this world, young and old, men and women, there are only those who are lonely at heart, and he will feel. The void in your heart. We all wish to stay young forever, but it is natural for us to age in proportion to our years. In fact, bragging about your youth is itself a sign that you are getting old. What is your standard of right and wrong? What is the standard of good? And evil in that case, is it the law of this country? In this world, different countries have different laws and ideology. An act that is considered good in one country may be evil in another. What is absolute right and wrong in the eyes to all human beings, regardless of country or religion? What is absolute evil? Is it making the other unhappy for the sake of our 
on one element of happiness? The dilemma and the conflict between the extramural humans could be read is that the world will not cease to fear them unless they are slaughtered, and the intramural humans would be read that they cannot defend themselves unless they are attacked first, will be vividly depicted. It is not easy to imagine that a similar situation existed in the real world. Such a structure cannot be eliminated as long as the people and the society exist. But we should at least be aware of these salaries and remember that the other person has his or her own framework of perception. Are our own idea being imprisoned from a one side standpoint? We can always continue to think from the bird's eye view. We can try to understand it, each other's position better, make effort to compromise and have a spirit of mutual understanding and harmony. This is what is required of humankind in the future, and it is a sign of sublime and the spirituality. We should be very aware that each person and environment and the world has its own background and circumstances, and that nothing is absolutely right. Even in today's globalized world, war and conflict caused by various factors such as ethnic and religious differences as continue to occur. I therefore see past wars, the current military situation, international role and the effort of each country to reflect it on war based on the question of why war occurs. The victorious nation is growing on confidence and repeating new wars. Defeated nations in an effort to avoid losing the next war, creating new wars, which is a keystone of the vicious cycle that cannot be broken. The Korean War was the major source of profit for the Japanese industry as a whole, and even in peacetime, the lives of many people are protected by the military. Are they protected? Does it benefit the industry as a whole, and does it enrich the country economy in wartime? War brings a huge profit, so it will not be easy in the future. I look forward to international discussion. International peace and the mechanisms have changed their nature over time. The reason why wars have not been eliminated in the chapter of the United Nations does not define the scope of the rights of self-defense and the Security Council has a bit of power. Each nation must understand the deepest and mistakes of the past and reflect it on them from the various perspectives. It is important to conflict, to analyze it, and think about war. It is difficult for the current United Nations to prevent the new wars. The scope of self-defense must be defined. Politics and cultural diversity is reflected in the United Nations. Countries as conflict assert that their rights to self-defense, and other countries are not allowed to interfere. The bit of power of the permanent members of the council, and with the privileges, armed sanctions as against the country in conflict can be revoked. We were dealing with a state that is turning as a bit in the UN Security Council and to the right to die. This undermines the full architectures of the global security. It is allowed them to go unpunished so that they are destroying everything that they can. So if it continues, the countries will rely only on the power of their own arms to ensure their security and not an international role, not reply an international institution. The United Nations can be simply closed that the UN system must be reformed immediately, that the veto is not the right to die. That there is a fair representation in the Security Council of all religions of the world. As I thought about war, 
I realize that this means a lot. The following answer has been given to the question of the, why humans go to war. Humans are not strong beings to begin with. No, they are weak. It seems to me that it was because that we were weak that we started working on two ranks, and that is also the reason why we have spread it all over the world. It is empathy that supported weak humans. Empathy as a human characteristic, the wonderful things. So why do we go to war? This is a question that naturally arises. The answer to this question is that it is within us that, that we fold empathy for each other and we fight against it, those who are not us. The stronger our empathy for our fellow men, the more intensely we fight it to protect them. This they explain is why words never cease. But is this enough to be satisfied with that? Different people are in different positions and have different circumstances, and there is no absolute right on the world. This is the reason why words do not disappear from the world. There is one fact, but how do we perceive it and how do we think about it? What kind of thoughts, beliefs do we come up with? In? Each person has his or her own opinion and there will always be discrepancies. What is important is a body that both parties fool the deal and that knowing the truth about the world is not enough to change it. Yes, the world people cannot be changed by just augmented and factor. What is more important is what kind of beliefs that person himself or herself holds. Without recognizing this, one cannot persuade others by standing up theory. The facts are such and such, so this is the way it should be. What is necessary is not to talk about what you think is right, but the understanding that runs through, which the other persons perceive is the world.